What are plant tissue and their functions? Do you like to get haircut or are you scared of visiting the barber shop? If grass could think, how would it feel when it's time to mow? What about plants when it's time for pruning? Although it may seem counterintuitive, the best way to get many plants to grow is by cutting them back at certain times of the year. We call these occasional haircut pruning. Pruning is a horticulture practice involving the selective removal of certain parts of a plant, such as branches, buds or roots. But the question is, how do plants grow back? Growth in plants take place by different types of tissues. So let's study about the different types of plant tissue and their function. A tissue is a group of cells having a common origin and usually performing a common function. Plant tissues are classified into two main groups namely meristematic and permanent. Growth in plants takes place by specialized regions of active cell division called meristems. Plants have different kinds of meristems. The meristems which occur at the tips of the roots and shoots are called apical meristems. And these tissues help in elongation of stem and root. Intercalary meristems are present at the nodes of grasses and allow for rapid stem elongation. Lateral meristems are found in all woody plants and in some herbaceous plants and they produce secondary tissues, vascular cambium in stems and roots. Permanent tissues do not generally divide further and it is of two types, simple tissue and complex tissue. Simple tissue is made of only one type of cells and they are of three types, parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Parenchyma cells are generally isodiametric, thin-walled and of different shapes. And they perform various functions like photosynthesis, storage and secretion. The colenchyma occurs in layers below the epidermis in most of the dicotyledonous plants. The cells of colenchyma thicken at the corners due to deposition of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin. They provide mechanical support to the growing parts of the plant such as young stem and petiole of a leaf. Sometimes colenchyma contain chloroplast and they assimilate food. Sclerenchyma contains long, narrow cells, thick and lignified cell walls and they provide mechanical support to different parts of plants. The complex tissues are made of more than one type of cells. Xylem and phloem constitute the complex tissues in plants. In angiosperm, xylem is composed of four different types of elements, namely tracheids, vessels, xylem, xylem fibers and xylem parenchyma. Gymnosperms lack vessels in their xylem. Xylem functions as a conducting tissue for water and minerals from roots to the stem and leaves. It also provides mechanical strength to the different parts of plants. In angiosperms, phloem is composed of sieve tube elements, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. On the other hand, gymnosperms lack sieve tubes and companion cells in their phloem. Phloem transports food materials from leaves to other parts of the plants. Let's solve some important questions from medical entrance exams. Question 1. Colenchyma constitute the hypodermis in number 1. Monocot root number 2. Dicot stem number 3. Monocot stem or number 4. Dicot root This question was asked in AIPMT 2010. Solution the colenchyma occurs in layers below the epidermis in most of the dicotyledonous stems. Hence, option 2 is correct. Question 2. Fibers associated with phloem are Number 1. Heart fiber Number 2. Wood fiber Number 3. Surface fiber or Number 4. Bast fiber This question was asked in JIP MER 2008. Solution Bast fiber is plant fiber collected from phloem. They support the conductive cells of the phloem and provide strength to the stem. Hence, option 4 is correct. Question 3. 
in angiosperm xylem is made up of number one tracheids and vessels number two vessels and fibers number three tracheids and fibers number four all of the above this question was asked in CPMT 2010 solution xylem is composed of four different kinds of elements namely tracheids vessels xylem fibers and xylem parenchyma hence option 4 is correct this video concludes about different types of plant tissues and their functions to know more about anatomy of plants please visit our next video please like share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn download extra class app from google play store and get rewarded for studying